What up, homies? It's the Crypto Homie, back at you with another video. This video is all about the current price action of a Uniswap. Did you know Uni is currently up over 10% in the last 24 hours? And homies, we're in phase five for Bitcoin and the crypto markets. What does that mean? We'll find out in this video. And before we get started, my homies, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the latest in the crypto space. So diving right into the charts of Uni, as you can see, Uni has made a massive, massive move in the last about eight hours, breaking through crucial, crucial resistance and currently holding it as support. This $3.20 area is major, major resistance slash support. And so far it is holding. As you can see, this four hour candle, which still has about three hours and 35 minutes to close, you know, it's not looking, it's looking kind of bearish, but hey, guys, that's short-term, short-term price action. If you're caught up into the short-term price action, you know, day-to-day, -day, you know, say next week, next month, Uniswap is a long-term hold. So if you're worried about it falling, you know, back down to $2.50, why are you in it, homie? Why? Because long, like long-term perspectives will make the most money in crypto. If, if you're in a short-term, just in and out, you're probably going to end up losing money. But uh, to all the homies that bought back down here at $2.50, congratulations. Even if you got in, just sub $3 was such, such a great buy. And congratulations to all the homies that did that. Because I'm sure there are many of you on this channel that bought in under $3. And, and that's what we like to do on this channel. Buy low, sell high. Not do what everybody else does and buy high so low so congratulations to all you that like that bought low and are getting ready to sell at a really really high price so but like let's zoom back out to the dollar i mean the, like the daily as you can see on the daily that is very good this is good as you guys can see when the, when you have long wicks to the downside like this that's showing a lot of buying pressure so we have a wick right here kind of small and then a bigger wick that's very good just like back here big wick up here shows a lot of selling pressure so yes we would much like we would like prefer to have a bigger wick down, like down here because that would show a lot more buying pressure but hey we're getting started we're getting some more buying pressure that's what we like to see guys and now on to some great news about phase five for bitcoin you guys can always follow me on twitter the crypto homie at homie underscore crypto we're gonna scroll on there's a lot of stuff happening and we're, and we're gonna get right to it as you guys um can see pomp tweeted out breaking square has invested 50 million 50 million dollars in bitcoin and will hold the digital currency on their balance sheet Every corporation will eventually do this at Jack, continuing the way. Guys, that's a massive move. We go over to Square's uh, Twitter. It says today, Square now said it has purchased 50 million in Bitcoin. Square believes cryptocurrency is an instrument of economic empowerment and provides a way to participate in a global monetary system, which aligns with the company's purpose. For, for more info, click here. Well, we're going to click there. So like, let's see what the company is all about. So like the ticker on the New York Stock Exchange is SQ. It's currently priced around $183. It's up, it's up about 1.7% in the last, uh, I guess, 20, 20, like 24 hours. And just a little brief thing about uh, Square. It says that uh, we believe everyone should be able to participate and thrive in the economy. So we're building easy tools to empower and enrich everyone. I don't know about you guys. Like this is great. What that what like what Square does, and, and I mean just buying into Bitcoin. That's even just a you know it's a cherry like on top. It's a uh, it's just wonderful. But as you guys can mention, um, you guys heard of Plan B. The whole Phase Five thing, you know, comes from Plan B. Ha ha like have to give him credit. He uh, he he retweeted from Keith McCollin, uh said I've sold all my Bitcoin. Then Plan B <laughs> tweeted at him from weak hand to strong hands with the rocket. Guys, are you selling your uni right now? Are you selling your Bitcoin? Are you selling at a loss? What are you doing, homie? You don't want to buy high, sell low because you're losing money. You want to buy low, sell high. And hey, if you're selling, thank you because you're you're what's allowing people like us that here want to buy low, sell high to buy low and sell high. So because you're you're buying our bags at, at the very top. You may be, you may, you may be, yeah, you may be like, homie, that's so mean. But guess what, guys? That's how it works. That's how markets work. It's how traditional finance work. It's how crypto works. It's how any trading market works. If you don't know the game, what are you doing here? You got to learn the rules of the game. And that's what we're here for, to excel at the game. So yeah, from weak hand to strong hands. Well, guys, are you a weak hand or are you a strong hand? Let me know down in the comments below. So guys, Plan B, he has a lot of great charts, like the stock to flow, you know, and, and he's the one that's calling the $100,000 Bitcoin all the way up to an 864 thousand dollar bitcoin and that's based off of this tweet that i'm going to show you on my twitter i tweeted this out today guys because of like the whole square stuff i said 2017 all-time high from is like it's from the retail fomo the crypto market pumped to around 850 billion dollars in 2017 i said wait for institutional fomo you know 
and that's coming from plan B for phase five, crypto will be a multi-trillion dollar asset class. Guys, I believe there's some people on this channel, I believe some people understand this, but some people still lack the understanding of multi-trillion dollar market cap. For example, when I made my OMG video, my price prediction video, which you guys can find on my OMG playlist, people are like, whoa, homie, that's way too high, so unrealistic, but I'm, I'm, I'm putting into the fact that I look at the market cap and I'm expecting a multi-trillion dollar market cap for the crypto space. So the prices of seeing OMG at $28 was the last all time high. So I expect to see way, way higher than that. The projects that actually have real utility and that will be around long term will be in when this thing hits multi-trillion dollars. And guys, you're gonna see some crazy, crazy gains that right now are, you can't even imagine. You can't even imagine these crazy gains, okay? Because we're, we're talking multi-trillion dollar asset class. You have MicroStrategy Incorporated, they dropped $425 million into Bitcoin. Then you have Square that says, hey, we're gonna dump 50 million. You know, we'll see what happens. Guys, th this is a pattern. It's, it's gonna take some time because companies can't just come out and say, oh, we're gonna just dump some money into it. They have to set up a plan. It's gonna take like six months. We, over the next six months, I predict we're gonna see a lot more companies come out and uh, say, hey, we bought Bitcoin. Hey, we bought Bitcoin. But I also believe there are gonna be some closet Bitcoin companies, closet Bitcoin guys that are like, yeah, we bought some Bitcoin, but they're not really announcing it, okay? They're not really announcing it. And ending the tweet here, we are early, guys. Guys, keep in mind, we are early. You guys have to be patient. It says patience will pay off, homies. And obviously, guys, duh, this is not financial advice. You know, you got to put on your big boy pants, your big girl pants, and make your decisions for yourself and take responsibility for your actions, okay? So, uh, what, like, what do you guys think about a multi trillion dollar asset class? So, going back to Square, because, you know, this is the major news for today. The market cap for Square is around $72 billion, guys. That's a, like, that's huge, $72 billion. That's what I like to see. And maybe they're gonna end up doing some kind of dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin. Only time will tell, we shall see. And I just wanna show you guys, MicroStrategy Incorporated, you know, they're the ones that dropped $425 million into Bitcoin with an average price of buying it at around $11,111. The stock's currently up about 6.79%. I, I imagine this is probably because Square buying Bitcoin and everybody's like, oh, companies are buying Bitcoins. So let's buy more of these companies. And Square has a lot larger Bitcoin holdings than, uh, no, MicroStrategy Incorporated has a larger Bitcoin ho like holdings than Square. So just keep that in mind. Buying in into these companies is kind of like holding just a little bit of Bitcoin in your 401k or IRA. Not exactly like an ETF, but it's a, it's a way to get some exposure other than the Grayscale Trust. I thought Cameron Winklevoss had a great tweet today. You know, the one of the owners of the Gemini Exchange says, Bitcoin is on its way to becoming a corporate treasury asset. And Michael Saylor, you know, the CEO of, of MicroStrategy Incorporated and Jack Dorsey, you know, CEO of Square and, and Twitter are leading the charge. Soon, many other companies will follow and eventually, guys, eventually, central banks. He says, this is just the beginning, dot, dot, dot. Central banks, what? You mean they're gonna hold Bitcoin? Guys, there's only 21 million Bitcoin out there. 20. 1 million. If central banks and all these other big companies start buying, I don't know. That's why I say stack those precious Satoshis. Keep stacking the sats, guys. Um, if central banks get on this, guys, oh my goodness. I mean, that's when you're going to see 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 or higher Bitcoin. If you guys don't believe it, I mean, I'm obviously not a financial advice. I'm just some YouTuber online. What do I know? I'm just silly me, right? But I know the future, it looks very, very bullish. So that's that about about uh, Cameron Winklevoss, and then I so um, Plan B tweeted like this out today. You know, Hale Finney quoting a hundred trillion dollars. So guys, this is a great read. You guys have to pay, like pay attention to this. Starting with, it's interesting that the system can be configured to only allow a certain maximum number of coins ever to be create to, like ever be generated. I guess the idea is that the amount of work needed to generate a new coin will become more difficult as time goes on. One immediate problem with any new currency is how to value it. Even ignoring the practical problem that virtually no one will accept it at first, there is still a difficulty in coming up with a reasonable argument in favor of a particular non-zero value for the coins. As an amusing the thought experiment, imagine the Bitcoin is successful and becomes the dominant payment system in the use throughout the world. Then the total value of the currency should be equal to the total value of the wealth in the world. Current estimates of total Worldwide household wealth that I have found range from $100 trillion to $300 trillion. With 20 million coins, that gives each coin a value of about $10 million. $10 million per Bitcoin. Whoa. 
So the possibility of generating coins today with a few cents of compute time may be quite a good bet with a payoff of something like 100 million to one. Even if the odds of Bitcoin succeeding to this degree are slim, are they really 100 million to one against? Something to think about, dot, dot, dot. So guys, I, I want to point out, he said 20 million Bitcoins. Think about like Satoshi has about 1 million Bitcoin. So just keep that in mind. That's where I think they're, they're, they're subtracting the 1 million because it is a total of 21 million. But guys, a $10 million Bitcoin. Can you guys only imagine a $10 million Bitcoin? Imagine what the alts would be like. Whoa, I mean, just massive, massive gains. So what do you guys think about this? This is obviously back in the day when Bitcoin was just like created and founded. So, and, and this is definitely, like it just shows how early they were. But guys, I believe this shows how early we are. Institutions are just finally getting into this, okay? And just finally getting into this. Imagine over the next five years, how many more institutions will be in and how many more people will be buying. It's a, uh, it's just crazy, guys. It's just crazy. But back to, to the like to the Uniswap chart because we're wrapping the video up right here. You, like Uni is still holding above major, major, major resistance, so holding as support. That's great news, guys. Three dollars and thirty cents at the time of the recording, up over ten percent in the last twenty four hours. That's what, what we like to see, guys. What do you guys think about this Uni price action? What do you guys think about Square buying fifty million dollars worth of Bitcoin? What do you guys think about that? Let me know down in the comments below. And as always, homies, this is for entertainment, educational purposes only, you know, not financial advice. You guys like this video, smash that like button, subscribe for more content because the crypto homie is signing out.